Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to do one or two pages in our ringbound journal. If you saw my previous video where we just did some of the base, you know, foundation bases for our ringbound journal, I'm now here ready to get started working on a couple of the pages. So what I've got here, this is one of my um, collage masterboard pieces. And, you know, <laughs> obviously ignore the back of it. Um, and I thought this would just go really nicely with the colours and the palette that we're using in this journal. And I've also got my gorgeous speckled egg, oops, speckled egg um, distress oxide. I bought this recently and um, yeah, it's a really, really, really gorgeous colour. So I thought we could get started by inking up some of this page in this colour around the edges. So, oops, I'm just, I should probably just put this on, on here, shouldn't I? Not be, um, not be lazy. So, hold on. Okay, right. So, we'll just go around the edges a little bit. I don't want to kind of smother it in the blue, but just picking up a little touch here and there of the blue is kind of nice. So, we'll just go around there like that. So I'd love to hear what you're all working on. Are you making a, a ring bound journal? Are you working on something else? Um, is this your first, first ring bound journal or have you done more? What do you think to them? I might as well do the other side of this whilst I'm doing this because obviously once I've stuck some things on, it's going to be probably harder to get to, to actually ink it. So obviously you can see this has been coffee dyed, so it's not like a sort of stock plain piece of paper or anything like that. But we'll just, you know, tie it in a little bit with some of that speckled egg, which is just the most lovely colour, I have to say. Really is a very nice colour. Okay. So turning that over now. So I've got this piece. Now I'm going to, I think... Um, vintage photo this oh do I want to do that or do I want to go around with more of that speckled egg mm, it's a tough one it's a tough one right let's put some vintage photo on and see see then where we go from there because I might you know I might just kind of do both but we'll just see so as I say I mean this is a you know this is the original from a printable that's actually in my shop so um yeah, this is the original kind of collage masterboard. So just go around there like that. Mm, I think it looks quite nice actually in contrast to the speckled egg. I've also got this little lady um, cluster. So just going to again ink her up. She's just on some paper bag um, is how the base of her cluster is. But again, I mean, I love mixing the paper bag colour, you know, that brown. It just goes brilliantly with actually most things, I think. It has a bit of a vintage feel. I mean, obviously, it's not a vintage paper bag or anything, but it does have a brilliant sort of vintage feel about it. So I think it kind of just literally tones and kind of goes with everything, really. So I do like using it if, you know, if at all I can. Right, I'm going to put some things in the background um, maybe in the form of just some like vintage document. So I've got this here. I have to say it is quite yellow. Um, I wonder if it's a bit too yellow. This one might be a bit too yellow, which is a shame because, you know, I bought that in specifically thinking it was going to be ideal. Let me just have a look through my, my scraps bin again whether I've got some bits in here that would be you know a good color match uh, let's have a look. what have I got uh, oh I don't know now uh, I've got, oh, I don't know I've got this <clears throat> which this is a bit paler I mean I only have that in there but that definitely is a bit better colour wise. It's kind of less yellow, isn't it? So, okay. Uh, let's just tear 
that down. I mean, really what I'm just trying to do is just add a bit of detail into the background so it's not, you know, really plain and boring on the page. So I'm not going to glue anything down just yet. I just want to kind of balance everything out and see, see how things look. Let's just have a look. I've also brought along some other from a vintage book. So again, I've got some kind of like ads and things like that here. Uh, oh, I don't know. I've got this section here. I'm trying to keep these because I want to, um, you know, make some journaling cards and things from those. But let's just tear this one out. I mean, would you believe it? This one's very white. The other one was very yellow. <laughs> it's hard to get just the right... Just the right coloration, isn't it? Oh, that, yeah, that looks rubbish on there. Okay, I've got some other book pages, fear not, <laughs> beside me. So I'll just put in a couple of those. Just on my craft cart, I just like to keep, you know, a few book pages that might be ideal for this kind of thing. So let's just put in a couple of those. I've got this one. Oh, that's quite a good colour. Yeah, this one's quite a good colour. Let's just have a look there. Well, I'm not sure whether I quite like that, actually. It's got a bit much going on on there. It's quite fussy, quite full of text. I mean, obviously it is book page, so I guess it would be, but I mean, sometimes they just, you know, they're better than others, aren't they? Um, Oh, let me just have a look around now. What else have I got? I must have some things, you know, chucked here. <laughs> I'm sure I must have things here. Again, this is now a little bit yellow. I seem to be struggling between the bit yellow and a bit white. So they're all either a bit too yellow or a bit too white. Got this. Let's tear this down. I mean, I know it's book page again, but I thought perhaps it might just, you know, not look so fussy. Something more like this would be ideal, I think. So um, let me keep rummaging in my in my stash here because there might just be something, you know, that's just perfect. So oh, what's that? That's just like a random bit of stamp in there that I've got. Um, Okay, obviously that must have been left over from something else, I'm guessing. Uh, oh, this is tricky. This is tricky. Right, got some of my Curator's Collection Set 2 papers. I mean, of course, I wouldn't really want to necessarily mix in, you know, all of this stuff, because for me, I would feel that didn't really go, having the pink and things on it. But I just wondered whether could we get away with something like that or maybe like this <clears throat> let's have a look I mean again <laughs> I know this just sounds completely like obsessed but this is a bit brown for me around the edges but I mean definitely I'm preferring that sort of more patterned effect I think Oh, this is very tough, I must say. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm, let's tear this one down a bit more. Let me try swapping these around. So if I had that there and had this coming out at the bottom. No. Oh dear, I'm struggling, struggling here to... Um, get this to come together quite as I would like. Do you know, I think what I might do is add some sort of, um, you know, extra, like a flap or something, because then that might just kind of change the appearance of this piece. And then, you know, it might just as if by magic come together. <laughs> Who knows? It, it might not, it might not. So I might continue to struggle, but let's try something like that. So, right, let's find something that we can use as 
a flap on here. Uh, I think I've got some file folder here. Yep, I've got some. Oh no, that's envelope. Right, okay. Honestly, the things that you find when you're looking on your desk that you didn't know that you had. So, um, hmm. okay, let's have a look here. Oh, that's probably way too brown. So if I just pull in one of the other pages that I have done, I mean, actually, I don't mind that. What do you think? I mean, it is quite brown. Um, hmm. It is quite brown. Does that matter? I'll just cut down this section here. I'm just going to cut it down like that. Okay, so I mean, if I had that hooked, you know, hooked over here, for instance, just check how we would have that. Oh, perhaps like that. That's quite nice, isn't it? Still, still unsure what I will be putting in the background, but I do like that there, I think. So let me just have a look. I've got some of that lovely stamp, stamp book, which we could have. Uh, okay. I have got some of this, which is very pretty. Um, Well, this wasn't how I thought this was going to go. I thought this was just going to come together wonderfully. And of course, now it's, you know, I'm completely stumped and I'm only, you know, I don't know how long I've been filming, but it can't have been that long. Early on, early on in the video. Right, I'm going to just tear this down and we'll just see how this might look because maybe it needs a bit more blue. You know, maybe that's kind of what it's calling for there. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, I might kind of do something like that. So, I mean, obviously I need to trim off this edge. And I've cut that rather than tear, you know, tear down that edge because um, I just thought I might have ended up with literally no paper left if I'd have torn that. So, yeah, I think like that is quite nice. Yeah, okay, right, made a decision at last, yep. So, hmm. let me just check that I don't want the big page that way around. No, I don't. Right, so I'm going to stick this down in the first instance. So, let's just pop this one down. It's funny, isn't it? Because, I mean, I had a sort of plan in my mind, you know, starting out, how I thought this page was going to go, and it, <laughs> it felt like it was going to just flow and, you know, come along beautifully and work wonderfully. And then, of course, you get started and, um, you know, it's a little bit sort of shocking then when it doesn't quite just instantly come together. Because, I mean, sometimes you know it's not going to, don't you? You, you know, you're struggling already to make a page come together. But this one I thought was going to just flow instantly. So this was, <laughs> was a bit of a surprise when it was then proving so difficult for me to actually make a decision. So, okay. Let's just go around there. Like that. Okie dokie. Okay, so I'm just going to stick this one down here. Not too worried, obviously, you know, how that goes, whether it's kind of meeting this at the top or not, I don't really mind. You know, once the page is fully decorated and finished, you're just not going to, you know, even notice. Your eyes wouldn't really be drawn to that one way or another. Just going to now go round with that um, speckled egg again on top of this book page now because, of course, I've lost the, the speckled egg now. So, and I'll just include this now in it as well. I like that. Okay. Right, so, oops, right, just dropping all sorts of stuff there all over the page. Okay, so I quite like that now. 
do we like her anywhere? Well, not really. Might be too much brown now, I'm thinking. I don't know, but, you know, it might be too much brown. But I'm wondering whether we could have one of those little, um, you know, doobry things that would open this. So let's just have a look and see what type of thing we could do, you know, how we could attach that. So what I'm going to do, I think, is just trim this down slightly because it's quite large. So just bring that down just a fraction and then just a fraction at the bottom. Like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to literally glue that on like that. Okay. Oops. Okay. Just going to push that slightly. Okay, and we just then press that down. I'm just going to wipe that bit of speckled egg there that's on the table. Right, so just press that down for a few seconds. I'm just going to check that that glue's not seeping out because sometimes that happens and then you get, you know, a torn piece of paper. I've just got a piece here flapping up. So I'm just going to now glue that down. This is like, you know, repairs. Doing repairs here on our pieces, but that's okay. Right. Okay, repairs are now done. So that's going to go like that. Then going to have that in the middle this I love just oh it just looks really lovely doesn't it don't know whether I actually want her now to be honest um and now just wondering where I would put or how I would put one of those little you know flap things um hmm. I mean maybe that's a bit much what do you think or we could have it kind of down there well, that's quite nice, isn't it? I was having it as a sort of belly band, but perhaps we should have that more like a downstairs pocket. Not downstairs, but you know, down at the bottom, down at the bottom pocket. I mean, that is quite nice, isn't it? Let me just ink this up and glue this on. Just, I don't want it too madly inked up. And I mean, obviously, this is from a vintage, you know, vintage sort of publication. Um, but it just, you know, it happens to not be very discoloured, um, which is why it just needed a little bit sort of extra. And I'm just wondering whether I need any doily or anything with it. Let's just have a look. Oh, I've also got these pieces. I mean, again, I just kind of pulled along some of my pieces that I thought are you know a good colour match so let's just trim this out and just check whether we might like this somewhere I love using all the blues they're really nice aren't they honestly I say that about so many different colours I just I really love colour I mean I know you know I'm equally very very drawn to black but I mean black is a colour isn't it um I, you know, I really love that striking effect of the black. But I do, you know, equally really, really like using colour. Let's just check whether we want something like this. That might be kind of too much. Although, again, when you then take it away, you know, it's surprising how boring it looks without it. I mean, that's weird, isn't it? It's completely changed when you bring it down the bottom. Now, do I want to have any kind of stamp detail in the corner? Let me just get my little kind of corner stamp. Oh, I mean, I definitely, I love the whole, you know, fancy stamped corners. I don't know whether I do. Don't know whether I do want them there is, is what I mean. Um, I do love them, but they might just be a little bit too too much in this instance I'm not sure I mean that is unusual for me to not want to have them but they maybe just aren't really needed here who knows let's just try this down here I'm 
not sure about that either now. Let's just imagine that that's on there, stamped on there. Maybe in brown, um, you know, how would that look? I've got some ruffle here. I mean, this is very dark, this ruffle. It's been coffee dyed, it was just white. And it's been coffee dyed, it's very, very dark. Um, the underside is, mm, you know, much paler. Which, I mean, I could use the underside, I guess, if the other side is, like, way too dark. I don't like that piece of lace there. That's just not really working for me. I've got some of my favourite, that wide crochet lace here. So let's just snip that off and try a bit of that. Let's just pop that there. Okay. Right, well, I might come back to the ruffle, I think. I'm not sure about the ruffle. Still not sure about the stamped corners either. Honestly, just struggling with any decisions today, obviously. Just some days you get days where you can't really concentrate fully, and I'm clearly having one of those days. Right, I mean, maybe it might be nice like that with just a bit of lace up there. I mean, this is quite a busy page now with all these different bits and pieces, but... You know, I mean, sometimes I think busy is best. <laughs> what am I What am I talking about? Sometimes, like all the time, I think busy is best, I think. Well, not too busy. There's a kind of fine, fine line, isn't there, between, you know, too busy where it's like, oh my gosh, that just looks hideous. And, you know, where it just looks kind of just right, having just the right amount of stuff. So, um... Yeah, I think I'm, I definitely favour the whole, you know, more is more. Oh, you know what? I mean, I'm not going to be able to have one of those doobries down there, am I? No. No, I haven't really thought about that at all. Okay, let me just see whether I can have one to the side. Hold on. Got my little, my little tub here of the, of the little thingamajigglies. I don't know what you call these. I don't know whether anybody knew what I was talking about, to be honest, but... These things, you know, where you have like a little lever <laughs> that moves about. Right. Mm, I still can't decide on here whether to have anything else. I mean, I could kind of layer that up, I guess. Right, let me just tear this down. <clears throat> Oops, oh my gosh. Look at that awful job of tearing that I've just done. That didn't go well, did it? No, nope, not at all. <laughs> okay, just tear that down here. I'm just going to tear it down there as well. that out of the way see how it looks I mean to be honest I think it looks nice either way I don't think one way is actually nicer than the other in this instance so I'll just ink this up and um yeah we'll probably just go for this because more is more you know but to be honest I actually you know I didn't dislike it without this underneath okay right let's have a look You know, it just gives it that sort of slightly layered look. Do I need to move up with my camera? I feel like this is not really... Is that better? Hopefully that's a bit better. Okay, right. Let's pop this down. Okie doke. Well, this page has taken ages to come together, hasn't it? Honestly, and I did have this little plan in my mind about how it was going to look and I just thought it was going to be, you know, literally like thought, oh, the video is going to be over in five minutes. I'm actually quite shocked at how, <laughs> how it's stumped me now I've come to actually do it. Okay. 
there we go and pop that down there like that and this little thingamajiggly let's just call them that thingamajiggly yeah i don't know what these are called to be perfectly honest if anyone else if anyone else knows what these are referred to let me know i mean maybe they're just small tabs i don't know i mean they're not really a tab but maybe i don't know now i'm wondering if i put it here Mm, yeah yeah let's do that so let me just get a brad to put it there Hold on. Oops. okay so i've just got a small brad here and then we're just going to poke have i got more room this side maybe i've got more room this side to be honest yeah, perhaps I've got more room this side, so I might put it in here instead. So, like that. Let's just go through there. Okay, right, that's going to go on there. Honestly, done like a complete U-turn on this page, it's very strange. It's not, not really how I'd planned it at all. But, you know, I do like it. I like how it's looking now. Okay, right, we're going to have it like that. And so I want to glue, obviously, this down here. Oh, sorry about that noisy ambulance outside. Uh, I think it might have been a police car, actually, but... Right, Right. Mm, okay, like that. I'll just press that down again, just kind of mopping up any excess that's just, you know, treacling out the sides. Like that. Okay, so hopefully that's now sticking down nicely. And I'm just going to ink this up now before gluing this down. Now, I mean, obviously, it doesn't really probably need this. You know, it looks perfectly fine like that, doesn't it? But then, you know, that kind of does add a bit more interest to the page, doesn't it? To have it kind of, you know, with a little bit more going on. Plus, we can obviously glue this down as another little pocket. Now need to be mindful because I've obviously got a hole somewhere here so let's just see if I can see through right the hole is here so if I have it there whoops I'm just about missing where the hole is I didn't want it too much in the center if that makes sense so again just going to glue this down I'll just give this another press Okay, so I'm just going to then pop that down there like that. As I say, I mean, I just didn't want it kind of smack bang in the centre, really. So I've just tried to put it a little bit off centre so it looks a little bit better there. And then this one we're going to just have there like that and again she can be another pocket then in the top so you know we've got tons of pockets just on this little page so well I mean it's, it's just a normal page it's not really a little page but you know what I mean just on this page we've got lots of pockets so I'm just going to pop her there and hopefully I've missed the where the hole will be punched. I mean, it's not the end of the world if if I haven't. The hole will just obviously go through her as well. But I didn't want it, like, for instance, going through her face, you know, because that's, of course, you know, not ideal. <laughs> not ideal to have the hole actually through her face. Okay, right. Now, do I want a piece of lace here? 
or here, maybe up there. Yeah, okay, so I'm just going to put that down there. Like that. In okay, case so that looks nice, doesn't it? And then, you know, I might add some bling later. Um, you know, I'm not sure yet. I've got a little number tab. I don't know whether I need it, but we could always try that somewhere. See if it might look nice. It does look nice. I'm not sure where it looks nicest. Um, yeah, I do like it, but I'm not sure where where I like it best. No, not that side. So I either like it here, I think. I do, funnily enough, actually quite like it up here. I'm going to put it down there. Right. Okay, decision made. Enough mucking about with this page. Made a decision. Okay, so that will just go in there like that. I have got that fabric ruffle and again, you know, we could add some ruffle. I might wait until the journal is kind of further on um, and see whether I need the ruffle because, you know, depending, I mean, I might have ruffles kind of on other pages and think, oh, actually that doesn't really need any more. Um, so I might just leave it like that. Love how that turned out. It looks really, really pretty. Those colours just look gorgeous, don't they, together? So we can go now onto the other side and do something now on the other side. I'm going to just punch through there to just open up that hole again. So again, just need to be able to see through the hole to see where that was, but... Obviously, because my paper had covered the hole up. So, you know, just needed to open that up. And then the final finishing touch, actually, on there is I always really like to put those hole reinforcers around the holes. Again, they are for aesthetic purposes. They're not really, you know, they're not really acting as a reinforcer, to be honest. I doubt they're, they're adding a lot of strength. But they do look really nice. So... I just pop those down on there and one there they look really nice don't they yeah I really love how they look so just going to ink that up a bit they were inked up anyway but I felt like they looked quite pale so there we go so let's turn it over and see what we're going to do with the other side I'm just going to have a drink of water quickly Okay, that's better. So, right, I'm onto the other side of the page now. So, I've got this one here. I think we maybe made this in a mass making. I actually can't quite remember. Um, but again, colour wise, this is just going to be, you know, awesome for this journal, to be honest. So, I'm going to use that. Um, I've got this little piece from one of the, you know, the vintage books that I'd pulled in earlier. And what I'll do, I think, is just ink this up a little bit because, again, it's quite white looking so we just kind of tone that down a bit and it will hopefully then you know look okay on this page otherwise it was just very stark contrast on this page so yeah I mean that just looks a little bit better doesn't it so like that now I'm wondering again if we want some sort of flap or something on here because it feels like it's you know not very um not very busy not very highly decorated which, of course, we want to have more stuff on here. <laughs> Make it very, very decorated. So, again, I've got the rest of that. Um, oh, look, I've got the rest of that one, actually. So we could... Oh, no. I was going to say add a flap, but that looked hideous, didn't it? About like that. And if it was tucked in... If it tucked in here... I mean, obviously not as it is because it doesn't look very nice. But what if we decorated that up? That might look really nice, mightn't it? 
yeah I'm thinking like that so let's have a look and see what we can decorate it up with I've got this lovely image here now she is quite big for there you see if I tear her down am I losing too much of her or you know is it going to be okay I don't know mm, let's come down a bit more I'm using my slow cooker again today I'm making some I don't know Moroccan-y thing anyway oh I hope it's going to be nice <laughs> there's nothing worse than when you've smelt it all day and look forward to it and then you have it and it's just horrible <laughs> oh, I hope it's going to be nice but who knows it might be it might be awful okay but you know on the bonus it's done. No one's going to have to make anything later, so that's all good. Right, I'm just going to trim this down to neaten that up. Okay, she fits on there okay, actually, doesn't she? She is a little bit, or, you know, the flap is a little bit on the wide side. Not the wild side, the wide, the wide side. So I'm just going to take that down slightly just so it fits really nicely to tuck into the pocket because otherwise it's a little bit wide and it might be fiddly to get in and out. Just trim that other bit down. So, I mean, you know, we're kind of being frugal here because we're using up things rather than wasting them. So, yeah, if I kind of pop that on there like that. So we'll just, again, glue that down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't really smell the dinner yet because I'm doing this, you know, it's well just coming up to lunchtime, I suppose. So I guess it's not been on long enough for me to be having the smell of the food wafting upstairs yet. But hopefully, hopefully it will be good. But like I say, who cares? And, you know, just means no one has to cook, which, is, of course, that's good in itself, isn't it? Right. OK. So just ink around her a little bit, like that, I'm going to pop her down there. Okay, now she's quite big, so I'm not going to put anything behind her because to be honest, I'd probably struggle to, you know, fit it in. So I'll just glue her down. Okay. Her down there. Okay, now she's from my um, Meandering Meadows background papers, but she's shrunk down. I'd printed them two to a page, so that's why she's quite small. Okay, but she looks pretty, doesn't she, on there? And, you know, colour-wise, she's just perfect for this um, this journal. Now, do I want to have that kind of lower down? I do, but actually I think I'm going to just edge around that with the, the blue. Just on those couple of edges where it's going to be, you know, nudging up against that corner. And then it will sort of blend better and merge in rather than being like a, you know, sudden, completely different colour. So that's a bit better, isn't it? Yeah, I think that does look better. Okay, right, what else? What else should we have on here? It's nowhere near full enough, is it? Got nowhere near enough stuff on the page. Now, do we want to have some lace going down the side? I mean, that's quite big. Yeah, it's quite big. It might not really quite you know fit the bill I'm going to glue this on because again you know once it's glued on then I'm at least committed to something and I don't then keep on moving it about you know which I just think that's such a you know really helpful thing to do isn't it to just have it fixed on the page because 
all the time that you can keep moving it of course you do keep moving it and um you know <laughs> i just personally you know it's giving me too many options so once it's stuck down even if i kind of then later think oh i wish i hadn't done that at least it's given me a starting point you know so yeah i kind of like to get something glued onto the page if i can i mean sometimes it's not possible because i'm too busy dithering to even make that first decision but you know if i can at all then i think that's that's helpful helpful to do right i'm still pulling in that ruffle as you can see just you know <laughs> keeps on just um appearing just keeps on appearing everywhere uh I mean, we could have some lace down there, probably a little bit, you know, overkill and probably not really the right side, but I've got a little blue flower. No, I don't like that there. Don't like that there. About some slim, slim line lace. Let's see whether we'd like that down the edge. Let's have a look. Oops. quite like that the only thing I don't like I don't like this space here because it's yeah looking weird to me so I'm not sure about that uh, I don't want to put lace there because obviously then when I come to tuck that into that pocket that's going to make that difficult to do okay right let's go back to having that there for a minute So if I were to have that there, and then I wonder if I could have something else, you know, some other lace or something. Oops. That's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, I quite like that, I think. So I might just round it off, actually, just here. Like that. And then I think probably I want something down here. So let's just see whether I've got, you know, any kind of paper or something that I can just fill in that space there with. Uh, I mean, we could have some doily. I haven't really used much doily in this journal yet. Hmm. It's very brown, this doily. This I had coffee dyed and obviously this was, um, you know, when it was very strong. So this one's a bit on the brown side, I think. Um, although actually I don't mind it now I've put it there again. Perhaps if I have it more, you know, towards the top like that. Let me just see when that's open. Hmm. Yeah, I don't mind that, I think. Um, I've got some of my little blue stamped pieces here as well, which again, they could look quite pretty. I'm just uh, going to have to change the pads again. Okay. Oh, this is now going very green looking. So yeah, probably this is now not going to work anywhere in this journal because now having vintage photoed it, it's actually gone pretty green toned so let me just cut this out and see sometimes that happens I find you know with the um, inks you know just every now and then you might ink them on something and you know far from going as you expect they actually change it to some weird random color that then of course doesn't really work with what you're using I sometimes find that with I think it's the pink certain shades of pink if you vintage photo them they then go kind of orange which then obviously looks rubbish no you see I mean that's now you know very green isn't it let's tuck it in no it does look quite green it might work on a different page though so I'm going to keep it you know keep it within my my sight of vision I think mm. and that's quite sweet it's here. I need to. I need to sort out something for there. Let's just have a look. Just get rid of those darker sort of edges and see whether you 
know, this might work now. It's not really running in the right direction, that. Oh, this is very annoying. I've got this clock, which obviously that kind of is in keeping because we've got a clock down here. I wonder if I actually get rid of the words. Oh dear, I don't know what's going on with me today. I'm struggling with literally everything I'm putting together. Yep, no idea what that's about, but sometimes you just struggle to um, concentrate, don't you? And today is just one of those days, unfortunately. Oh, I don't know whether that's quite the right thing. Um, let me stand up and look down on it. Mm. Let me put it next to like what would potentially be another page. Uh, I don't mind it actually. Yeah, I probably don't mind it. Okay, let's just go for that because otherwise I just fear I'm going to be here like, you know, half the day. Half the day just mucking about trying to get it to to look right. Okay. okay. So I just pop that down. Oops, my gosh. Down there. Oh my goodness, come on. Like that. And then I'm just going to glue this lace on here. I think that looks pretty. So I'll just fabric tack that down. Like that, and then like that. Okay, so that's then on there. And then here we're going to just have this down here. Now, thinking we were going to go for this ruffle, I think. Yeah, I mean, it looks really plain without the ruffle, doesn't it? So um, it definitely, you know, it does need something on there. Let's hope that the ruffle is the right thing. And I'm going to try and have the ruffle angled. Now, I just have to be sort of careful because obviously, you know, this has got this opening. So I just need to be sort of careful that I'm not going to block it off and not be able to actually open that. Might just round the corners of this because... Um, I think it would look better with rounded corners. So I'll just do that before I stick this in. Because obviously it will be difficult to come back to. Oops. Oh my goodness. That's not very successful rounding of the corners. Okay, so I'm going to glue this down here, like that. And I'm going to glue it on three sides so it's a pocket to the side. So again, just, oops. Again, just using my fabric tack because obviously some of this is now going to be stuck onto the fabric. Okay. Down. Again, just kind of mop up any excess glue that's just seeping out. Okie dokie. Hopefully that's sticking down nicely. And then probably just try maybe one or two other things on there. So I've got some of my street names here. Might just see whether one of those might look good on this page. So. Just pop 
one of those out. Such a nice day out there, honestly. I mean, it's pretty chilly, but um, the sun's shining. It just looks gorgeous out there. So I think at lunchtime, I'm just going to go for a sort of 20 minute bike ride and hopefully revive myself <laughs> to be able to come back and actually craft without feeling quite so stumped and um, struggling to pull things together. Just goes like that sometimes, doesn't it? And you just need to go out and get a bit of fresh air and uh, clear your head. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that after I finish this video. Otherwise, I'm just going to be here for the rest of the day with nothing really working. Okay, I mean, that looks really nice, doesn't it? Yeah, I like how that looks. So I'm going to pop that street sign on there. Like that. Now that ruffle, I can't decide now, do I have it the paler side or the darker side? I mean, obviously the stitching is not very good on the paler side because that's technically kind of where it's been stitched upside down. So from that point of view, it really needs to go the, you know, the right side up, if you see what I mean. Mm, just checking that that's going to still open. Yeah, it will. It will. Okay, let's just, just hot glue this down. So, oops, let me just wipe that end bit off of my glue, because sometimes when your glue's been sat on for a little while, it goes a bit yellow on the end. So I just didn't want that marking through the fabric at all onto the page. Okay, and and just trying to stick it at a bit of a a curve there. So oops, might need to move that over slightly. Okay. Otherwise, I think it's like hanging off the page really. So. Go in a bit more, a bit more glue. Okay. Hopefully that's a bit better. Like that. And then I've just got this end, which, yeah, might come down there. I mean, I could snip it off, but actually I quite like it just framing the, the whole thing. So, like that. Okay, my gosh, that took a long time, didn't it? But <laughs> we got there in the end, in the end. Um, so that's that page. Now, I'm just wondering, just before I leave that page alone, honestly, I, I will leave it alone eventually, but um, I'm just wondering whether it might look pretty with a bow. So I've got some bows here. Oh, that's a little bit blue, I think. Uh, I haven't really ever tried Distressing King Organza. I don't know how it would go because obviously it's very thin. It is distressing, can actually, which I didn't really think it would do anything. But actually, it is. Hmm. It's turned out better th better than I'd expected, actually. So there we go. Just <laughs> something new there. Well, new for me might not be new for you, but yeah, I'd never never tried to ink up organza before. But I mean, that just looks lovely now, doesn't it? We could have it on the side, but actually I think I'm going to have it down here. Mm, yeah, probably kind of off to an angle. So just again, going to hot glue that down. Oops. Like that, just off to the side. Oops. Press that for a bit long then and burnt my finger slightly. Not too much. Not badly. <laughs> Still labelled craft, so that's fine. Okay. Right, just press that down in there. Oh, that really just finishes that off, doesn't it? Yeah, 
looks really pretty and then the final finishing bit I'm just going to again put a couple of the hole reinforcers on there just around here I mean like I say they're not doing anything they're purely aesthetic but but I do like them so just get those there one two there we go oh gorgeous <laughs> lovely page we got there in the end um yeah so I hope that you like the um first couple of pages that we've kind of done in our ring bound journal so I might be back with some more um you know just depending on time really um but yeah I hope that you like them hopefully it's given you some inspiration or something and um yeah have fun if you're making one of your own thanks so much for joining me and see you guys again soon thanks then bye